Got our first spillway fish. That is a studly fish. Holy smokes, that was. There we go. What is going on guys? Nick here with Angling Attic Pacific Northwest. Today is day four of this crazy road adventure that I've been on, just traveling around Oregon, fishing as many bodies of water I can come across and targeting as many species as I can find. Uh, I just made it out to this uh, lake, which as you can see is uh, really low. I'm gonna grab my kayak, grab some uh, trolling gear, and we're gonna go out and go look for some uh, brown trout, some lake trout, possibly even some kokanee. Water looks a lot better than the last lake I was on. If you guys watched that video while I was out trying to uh, target some kokanee and some lake trout, there was some big waves out there and things just got kind of rough, but things are looking pretty good. So let's get out there. Absolutely love the feeling of just being out on the open water. So you might have noticed it's actually kind of uh, windy here, but I don't think it's really going to uh, affect me too much. And uh, I was just checking the depth on this. Luckily, I found a, uh, a map that actually shows uh, the contours of the lake bottom here. So I think what I'm going to do is make my way out towards the middle. Uh, it's about 200 feet out there, but I'm not too sure where we're at right now since the water is uh, pretty darn low. But I think I'm just going to get out. This water looks really clear too. I'm going to have to put the camera underwater for you guys. But uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll just see what happens. It's one of the fun things about doing this is uh, I have no clue if I'm just going to come out here and be paddling around or uh, if I could potentially come out and just start slaying fish. All right, so I'm running this kokanee uh, killer and that's going to be behind this little uh, sling blade right there. I think I'm going to I've got a few different weights to pick from my trolling setup is uh, kind of overkill but whatever now, I'm going to do uh, six ounces on here I was running three on a long line earlier uh, so I'm going to try doing the six here, and if I just want to get it straight down, then maybe I'll throw on a, uh, a ten. But start paddling, and we'll get this guy out. Well, I've come to the conclusion that I might just not know what I'm doing. And uh, to make things even worse, I had to say that this lake was actually looking pretty good for uh, being calm. Of course, as soon as I got out here, at about 20 minutes in, the wind kicked up. I ended up uh, kind of just getting blown down to the other side, which was fine. I just trolled on the way down, uh, trying to keep my speed in check. And then now I've just kind of spun back around and am uh, going against the wind back up towards uh, where I came from. We'll see what happens. I want to flip and fish on here. Oh, I just 
decided to uh, reel in my stuff, I realized that it had a little kilkenny on there. So it actually just fell off and considering it's floating, uh, I have no clue how long it will fell on. So why are you going that way? Well, guess what, guys? Wind. I gotta tell you, please like this video because I'm working my ass off for a stupid little fish that is now moving around. I'll show you this fish. I put them back, but that thing uh, is obviously done because I've been paddling for about a friggin' hour trying to uh, get back towards the Armada and just fighting the wind the whole time. And if you let up for just a split second, you start losing ground, so I'm just going to keep doing what I was doing and just going down to the metal. Uh, we got water splashing over. I'm actually pretty wet. Probably can't hear anything with all this wind. I don't know, but... Oh my god. I'll tell you what, that was some bullshit. Well, there is our little stud of a fish to show for all that work and effort about their paddling in the wind. Uh, it's a rather small fish. Had I known we had this guy on there, I would have uh, just let him go. Oh man, so I'm thinking even though today's been like incredibly windy, uh, it should be calm in the morning, at least calm enough. I should be able to get out on the kayak like uh, earlier at the other lake that I was at. So I think I'm just gonna stick it out and uh, sleep on the back of my rig tonight. I think I, you know, I came way too far uh, to just give up that easy and being this far uh, from home, <clears throat> I'm not gonna get many chances uh, to be able to get back out here and fish this lake. So hopefully uh, sticking it out tonight and uh, getting a chance to really put in some time early tomorrow morning uh, before the conditions change, uh, hopefully that pays off. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this is much better. I decided to uh, throw on a couple of mag lips. We got two rods behind me and just make a quick little loop uh, before the sun goes down because that's kind of the setup I was thinking about using uh, tomorrow morning. But I also couldn't pass up uh, another chance to get out here without just getting blown all over the place. It's absolutely beautiful. So I think I'm gonna spend the next couple hours out here just uh, doing a bit of trolling before the conditions change and then uh, pack it up and uh, hit up one of the uh, nearby lakes or reservoirs. Uh, I know there's a lot of streams around here. So if I can get to one of those, I, mean, I can get out there and uh, see if we can't find some brown trout in a stream out there. That would be really nice. dead i saved one of these little guys in the last video i'm realizing that this uh lake is absolutely swamped everywhere i look i'm seeing those things floating on the surface we're about 45 minutes in i'm still kind of making my way down and i've already noticed that the breeze has picked up just slightly to have enough little ripples on the water, which is gonna really suck uh, if it wants to kick back up and I need to go back against the wind. Uh, I don't wanna have a repeat of yesterday at all. That just absolutely sucked. So I'm just gonna get down here, 
make my turn and uh, kind of just go a little bit closer to the uh, bank line on my way back. Back on the road. I had to see Set some tracks. Just this is like moon dust. This stuff is crazy. All right, well, I guess now all this moon dust is kind of making sense. This is all just lava rock. It's all just a huge, long lava flow. That's actually really cool. So it's obviously not much of a, a spot for fishing, but it was definitely worth coming down here and uh, checking out, just kind of mixing it up a little bit. Kind of hoping that this uh, actually leads us to some water. Obviously, that was a uh, there was a little arm that uh, we had just driven past. But this place is so low, I have no clue what to expect right now. I maybe we might fish it though. I mean, if there's somewhere we can get out there and throw a few casts, we'll probably fish it. But uh, I really just wanted to stop by and check it out. sections of this reservoir all right well I just realized that this is actually just uh, one of the arms and considering how low this place is uh, if I want to get over to the uh, main body of water I'm just gonna go back the way I came and uh, make it a little bit easier than just taking this long slow route around I don't even know 
how long I've been driving these roads and taking down little cuts and trying to find the friggin' reservoir. Being that it's so low, all of these little uh, branches of it are just completely dried up and there's absolutely nothing there. So we're just gonna keep trucking along and uh, hopefully we'll get down to the water here soon. Do my eyes deceive me? I see blue head. Man, that was a lot of effort. We have found water. Uh, I guess good news, bad news. I mean, good news, we're here. We found water. There should be some fish around. Uh, bad news, obviously, this reservoir is insanely insanely low and oddly maybe not because it is such a remote area uh, i saw one couple down by the boat ramp i was gonna put in the kayak down there but i decided since they seem to be the only people out here besides myself now that i would actually just come down a bit further let them do their own thing down there and i really want to target that whole pool that's right over there around by the dam because I would assume that that should be the deepest point uh, as well as uh, if that water is pulling down like that I would imagine it should be pulling any of the bait kind of stuff uh, that direction as well who knows we could end up getting skunked again well the suck hole has vanished So if this is supposed to be such a killer reservoir with a ton of fish in it, it really makes me wonder where they're at. As you can see, this place right now, unless I open my mouth, I'm sure, uh, is insanely calm. And being that there is nobody here, no wind, I really want to pull that kayak back out. Let's throw a few casts. All right, well, I've got a half ounce on there right now, so I'm kind of curious if I'm going to end up smacking bottom out there. I really don't want to uh, just freak out the fish as soon as I get here. Right, no sign of life there. All right, let's go rooster tail. That was super crazy. So obviously I got my bobber out there and uh, I, while I was sitting here, I was thinking I wanted to find a stick to put right at the water line so I can see how far it's gone down uh, while I've been here. And as soon as I started walking towards the water line, there was a brown trout just a couple feet off the bank line that no kidding was about that big. I really want that fish that I would be so stoked to catch a fish that big. So I've been seeing these bugs all over the place, these little moth looking guys i'm gonna leave those ones alone but there's some that are just flapping around down on the ground or they're already dead so i think what i want to do since you know those browns are coming up and uh targeting those because they seem to land in the water and then they just sit there and flutter or they just lay you know like they're there and they're dead and i'm pretty sure that that's what these uh browns are going after so i'm what i'm going to try and do is I'm gonna leave on some worm just to have that little bit of extra weight to kind of help get it down. But I'm just gonna tip it off with uh, that moth and then uh, just kind of see what happens. I think that is going to be our candidate. Those things are so crazy. So you see it in perspective around my hand or my thumb, just their body. I mean, I got small hands, <laughs> but I mean, that's a good size bug, but Let's, uh, let's get you on there, buddy. I mean, you're dying anyways, right? <laughs> All right, well, I'm not going for uh, pretty presentation points, but I have to say this looks pretty tasty. Get that up there for you guys. Let's see if it uh, 
gets the job done. So I've run my bobber stop probably about seven or eight feet because I know that this guy is still going to have a little bit of float to it. So in this way, it's probably going to be maybe three feet kind of suspended a little bit because I'm expecting this guy to give him some float. Who knows? Maybe it'll just sink. You got a good chance with no wind. Stay on bug. Looks like it stayed on. And yeah, it stayed on because it definitely just dropped underwater. Awesome. It happens. Oh, there it is, baby. Holy smokes, look at that fish. That thing is huge. Oh my goodness, my first brown trout. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Check out that fish. We just broke him off. That thing is beautiful oh my god all right all right all right i got you dude thank you thank you look at that oh, oh. <laughs> yes oh my god that was redemption i was running like six pound line and uh maybe it didn't break he just popped off popped off right there at the very end and as you can see, I was not about to lose that fish. And luckily, he hung out for just a second so I could run down there and grab him. I cannot believe that bug just worked. Actually, I can. It seems, uh, makes perfect sense. Oh my God. To just catch that fish and then turn around and let it go. It still like blows my mind, but that was one of my bucket list fish for this trip. And we can check that one off. Oh my God, how rad. All right, let's do that again. Let's see who's gonna be our candidate. You got eggs on you. You're trying. Pull these bobbers down. Oh, I know I should have went and grabbed my net. It's another good fish. Oh my goodness. We don't want to tire you out. I know this water's getting low. I'm going to try and get this one off really quick. Come on, buddy. I don't want to tire you out. I'll come down here. Oh, my goodness. There is another beautiful fish. All right, we'll get you back in there, dude. Oh, thank you. That is too cool. Well, the wind has picked up uh, right on cue, but that's actually all right because it's a good chance for me to uh, take a quick little break and recharge <clears throat> as well. I decided that I'm going to stick it out here tonight. I'm going to set up the uh, tent and uh, camp out, fish around this area some more since I've only fished so little. And from what I've seen so far, uh, it might be worth sticking it out. Maybe get out the kayak. If you'd like to uh, continue along with the adventure, check out the next video because I'm going to be back out here and uh, hopefully catching some more big fish. But as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Best of luck to you, and I hope to see you out on the water.